GTA 5 Online, Kyle Perico Heist Solo Elite Challenge Complete. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to get this done. Very simple, very easy, no filler. So what I did to get here, I used the lawn fin, and I also picked the drainage tunnel. My location was main dock, and my end location was main dock. So your location on entering and leaving doesn't matter in this case. Make sure you do put suppressors on your weapon. So I, I went to the mainland um, where you first enter Kyle Perico and I shot that guard. And then when you get here, you want to walk into the shed and you're going to see right there we got weed, we got cash. And now I want to see what we got up top. So get in the forklift. Pick up the pallet. Raise up the pallet and bring it over to this part of the fence right here. And you're gonna climb up and see what's inside. Now, when I did the scope out for this, I realized I got the Panther statue and I also had a painting in the office. So given that I have that information, I see I got cocaine, I got weed. So what I'm gonna do to make the most out of my profit, I'm gonna take the cocaine because that is the most, weed being the second and cash being the last. So I'm gonna take the cocaine and then I'm gonna go into El Rubio's office and get the painting. And that will give me the max profit for this Kyle Perico heist. For weapons, I picked Marksman. Um, you can pick Saboteur, you can pick Marksman. Main thing, do not forget your suppressors. In the beginning of this video, I took my lawn fin all the way over here. This is the entrance of when you come into the Kyle Perico. So that is where that shed is. It's literally right when you come into Kyle Perico and you talk to the guy, that is where that air, uh, airport hangar is. Just remember where you parked your lawn fin so you can bring it to the drainage tunnel. Nothing compares to the satisfaction of well -executed plan. Apart from the gigantic now, while running around, you're going to want to watch for the cameras and the people in your mini map to the left. Cool thing is, when you are driving your lawn fin, it really doesn't matter. You can run into them, they can see you, it don't matter. In order to get the drainage tunnel as an option, you are gonna have to scope that out in the beginning when you uh, set up your heist. Right now, we got $220,000. That is half a bag of cocaine. This is where the drainage tunnel is located. Now keep in mind guys, I'm not really rushing. I'm just doing the heist casually. And it, honestly, if I could get a lead challenge, you can get a lead challenge too. Perfect. As we say in Navy, you want the element of surprise? Choose least hygienic option. 
Now this next step that I'm gonna show you, very crucial and probably one of the best steps in the Kyle Perico heist that you have ever seen. Once you get out, you're gonna wanna turn around and go this way and then walk up these stairs. Now you're gonna have to be very careful here because you can jump off the edge, but if you do this right, you're gonna, you're gonna love life. Jump on that ledge, jump up over here, and then get on the roof. You don't have to kill nobody. You don't have to walk around stealth. All you gotta do is walk right across this little plank right here, or you could jump it. Kill this one guard. Now, when you go up these stairs, you gotta be careful. There will be one other guard coming, but watch this. Very, very crazy. This guy, El Rubio, if you're watching, you need to fire this guy. This is the worst security guard I've ever seen in my life. Watch this guy. Look at it. Doesn't even see you. So then you just walk right by him. You don't no need to kill him. You don't want I mean you can if you want to, but why why kill him? You know, he's just chilling, doing his job, you know. Now when you get in here, make sure you always go get this safe. A lot of people do forget about this. Why? I don't know. But go get it. Couple extra dollars. And then remember, there's a painting, so we're going to grab that painting, and that's going to max out our loot bag. Our loot bag right now is max capacity at $486,483. Your price is going to change if you do cocaine, if you do weed, or if you do cash, and you fill it up with just those things and not a painting. Now, the fingerprint, if you guys don't know how to do this, I do got a YouTube short, and I will put it in the description. A uh, very short video explains how to get this done. Very easy. You'll be a hack master before you know it. And Panther is the main target. My Panther statue, it's not glitch, it's not none of that stuff. Right now we are in the heist event month in GTA 5 online, and they just added the Panther statue for the week. So if you are watching this video as of right now, I highly recommend doing the Cal Perico heist. You will get the Panther on the first try. After you do that, every time you go in scope, you have a 27% chance on getting the Panther statue. So now with the Panther statue, I'm at $2.3 million. Now getting out was just as easy as getting in. Now remember, you got that guard still there, so be careful. All you gotta do is just walk real tight to the edge. He won't even know you're there. Look at this guy. Walmart door greeter, look at this guy. Out of control. Now, leaving the compound, this can be a little bit tricky, but it depends on how you go about doing it. So, I'm looking at my mini-map, and there's a guy, he's going to come walking right by me. I'm not even going to kill him because he's going to be out of my sight, as you're going to tell. No need to kill him, and I'm just going to run. I'm going to make a run for it. As you can tell, there's no way that they're going to see you. No way. So run right to the yellow Corona. Once you get there, if a guy does see you and you're in that Corona, doesn't even matter. You're, you're home free. You're home free. So just run as fast as you can. Get to that Corona. 
If they spot you after you get in there and the alarms go off, don't worry. As soon as you leave these doors, the alarm will go away. All right, very crucial step right here as well. All you gotta do is go left. Just go left. And don't get spotted while you're going left, but just go left. Don't have to kill no one. You don't have to do nothing fancy. You just go left. Now, you're going to want to be careful getting down these cliffs. As you can tell, I gingerly go down these cliffs. So right here, you're going to want to go a little bit smooth. Not that smooth, but you know what I'm saying. Now, one thing you're going to want to do, you're underwater. Put your rebreather on. I thought my rebreather was on. For some reason, it didn't go on. And I almost died. Which is absolutely insane, but I did put my rebreather on. But well, all you got to do is just swim it out. Swim it out. Stay under the water. Don't get detected. In, out, boom. Just like this. And then I'm going to show you everything that you're going to need to complete for the Elite Challenge. And then I'm going to show you how much money I made from doing this. Very easy, very simple method. If you guys do have questions, put them in the chat. I do respond to them because I know this video, you might be missing a couple things. And um, I'm always willing to help. I also go live. And if you need help running a Kyle Perico, I got you. So right there, I put my rebreather on. I was like, why am I dying? And then I realized I don't have my rebreather on. So, yeah, that was, that was a little goofy. And you get 20 rebreathers, so you have nothing to worry about. You're going to make it. You burn through like two or three of them, but then when, you're, when you land, when you get to where you need to get to, you're, you're totally fine. If this video is helping you guys out, drop a subscribe, hit that like button, and hit those noties so you don't miss any GTA Online content. All right, let's see what the Elite Challenge is. What do we got to do for the Elite Challenge? So you just keep swimming until you see the escape Kyle Perico when it disappears that means you're in the clear right there we're in the clear we're good we are done with the heist heist passed now let's see what the elite challenge is the potential take 100% of the take 2.1 million the elite challenge you got to complete in under 15 minutes which we did zero hacks failed full loot bags that's it boom we got it we made 2.1 million dollars just for that i'm jack knight finnegan i'll see you on the next video or the next live stream until then peace